Hi guys, today's discussion is about noise dose and time weighted average for the topic of physical work environment in ergonomics. First, defining noise. So this is any unwanted sound. It can cause distraction and negative emotions. This can also cause interference with conversations, thinking, and other cognitive process. It can also lead to temporary to permanent hearing loss. Noise dose is a measure of noise exposure and it can be calculated using the following formula where C is your actual exposure and T is your permissible exposure set by OSHA. Take note that these values are default at or default in R's. Ang um, ating dose should be less than or equal to 1 or in some other references, they multiply it by 100. So your dose should be less than or equal to 100 for it to be acceptable. Next is the formula for permissible exposure. So this is set by OSHA. So the formula is given where L is the sound pressure level or measured in decibels. Okay. Now, for our example in determining permissible duration, a worker is exposed to a machine producing 82 decibel noise for 3 hours. Determine the permissible duration of exposure. So, we were given the following information where L is 82 decibels, T is uh, computed using the following formula. So, we have 8 over 2. And then we raise to the exponent 82 minus 90, quantity divided by 5. This should give us an answer of 24.25 hours. So this denotes that 24.25 hours is the maximum time allowed for a worker to be exposed for a noise of 82 decibels. Okay? So for the uh, for the noise dose calculation, we have two cases. Case one involves single exposure. So this means that there is only one noise source for a given duration. Case two is multiple exposure. So this is when two or more noise sources are given for an exposure or for a duration. So for case 2, we will be combining uh, combining noise sources using the following formula. So we have uh, L1 to denote the first noise source, L2 to denote the second noise source, until Ln uh, depending on how many noise sources are given for a specific duration of exposure. Alright? So, for an example, for a single exposure, an operator is currently exposed to a machine producing a noise of 90 decibels for 2 hours and 84 decibels for 5 hours. We want to determine the noise dose. So, in our given example, so we have, uh, we, we are given two exposures. So, one for two hours and one for five hours. But take note that for each exposure, we are only given one noise source. So, we have 90 decibels for two hours and 84 decibels for five hours. So, this is simply a case one type of uh, noise dose calculation wherein we are just talking about a single exposure for a given specific duration of time. So for our solution, L1 is 90 decibels and C1 is 2 hours. Then we are also given L2 as 84 decibels and C2 as 5 hours. Now take note that C is the actual exposure of time that an operator or a worker is exposed. Now, the next thing that we have to compute for the noise dose is the permissible time. So, we have to compute two uh, values of T uh, for, uh, for 90 decibels and for 84 decibels. So, for 90 decibels, T1, so we use the following formula. So, we have 8 over 2. 
So, that's 90 decibels minus 90 over 5. This will give us 8 hours of permissible exposure. For the next uh, exposure for 84 decibels, so we use 8 over 2 and then we use the exponent 84 minus 90 over 5. So this will be equivalent to 18.38 hours of maximum exposure for the second uh, for the second noise of 84 decibels. Okay, so we take note of the following answers for T1 and T2. So next is to compute for the dose. So this is equivalent to C1 over T1 plus C2 over T2. So since you only are given two exposures. So, if you were given three exposures, so we have another factor. So, that's C3 over T3. So, again, going back, so we have 2 for our actual exposure divided by the computed value of 8 plus 5 over the computed value of 18.38. So, this will give us an answer of 0.52 and this is less than 1, which gives us the conclusion that our exposure is acceptable according to OSHA's standard. Okay? Alright, so let's have an example for multiple exposure. So, a worker is exposed to coexisting noise sources of 90 decibels 86 decibels and 92 decibels for 4 hours and exposed to 88 decibels for 3 hours. Determine the noise dose of this exposure and if this is within OSHA's standard. Now, take note that in this example, we were given only 2 exposures. So, 1 for 4 hours and 1 for 3 hours. But take note, that during the 4 hour exposure, we were given 3 noise sources, so which are 90, 86, and 92 decibels. So, uh, this is a perfect example of multiple exposures. Since for a given duration of time, we were given multiple noise sources. So, for our solution, this is how I do it. Uh, this is the uh, for me. This is the uh, easier way to uh, capture the multiple sources and single sources. So I write for hours, and under it I write the different noise sources. So I have ninety decibels, eighty six decibels, and ninety two decibels. So this way, or in this format, I know that for the four hour duration. I have three noise sources. Then for three hours, so we are also given a noise source of 88 decibel. So in this case, uh, we are uh, we are to solve uh, T1 and T2 to denote the permissible time for the two exposures. Okay. But since for the first exposure, we have three noise sources, we have to perform uh, the L total formula. But in this case, let's solve one by one. So L1 is your L total. So that's 10 uh, log of the quantity 10 raised to 9 plus 10 raised to 8.6 plus 10 raised to 9.2. So, saan galing yung 9, 8.6, and 9.2? If we remember from the previous formula, the exponent is L1 over 10, then L2 over 10, L3 over 10, and so on. So, since we have 3 exposures, so we will be using 3, uh, three factors or 3 doon sa loob ng uh, parenthesis. Alright? So, solving this, this will give us an answer of 94.75 decibel. So, this is the combined noise level for the first exposure. 
Okay, so using the computed value, we can now solve for T1. So T1, uh, using the formula again, so that's 8 over 2, and then we use the computed value of L1, which is 94.75. So we uh, minus 90, divide by 5. This will give us an answer of 4.14 hours. So this is the permissible time for exposure for the given uh, noise of 94.75 decibels. Okay? So next is to compute for L2. So since we were given only one noise source for the second exposure, so we write 88 decibels. So from there, uh, next is to again solve for T2. So that is 8 over 2 so that is uh, raised to 88 minus 90 over 5 so this will give us an answer of 10.56 hours okay so taking note of the following answers we can now proceed with solving for the noise dose so for our noise dose so we have your 4 hours of exposure divided by the calculated T1, which is 4.14, plus the given exposure of 3 hours divided by the calculated 10.56, so which will give us a value of 1.25, which is greater than 1, which gives us the conclusion that this setup is not uh, healthy or this is not acceptable for OSHA's standard. Okay, so this is not acceptable. Okay, so again, since when we are competing for the noise dose, your value should be less than or equal to 1, or if you are multiplying it by 100, it should be less than or equal to 100. Now, the next topic is about the time-weighted average. Now, it shows a worker's daily exposure to occupational noise, and this is normalized to an 8-hour day. So, taking into account the average levels of noise and the time spent in each area. So, we have the following formula of your TWA. So, this is 16.61 log of D plus 90, and this should be less than or equal to 85. Now, take note, again, for reference, so since we are using the decimal value of D, so in this formula, we, we use just the D. But in other references, when you multiply your dose by 100, and then you compute, uh, compute for the TWA, so yung D doon should be divided by 100. Okay, so same, it should be less than or equal to 85 for it to be acceptable. Now, for our final example, so we want to determine the time weighted average for example 1 and 2. So, for our solution, first, TWA, taking into account the value of the deed we have computed. So, we have 16.61 log of 0.52 plus 90. This will give us an answer of 85.28, which is greater than the set limit of 85, which, uh, which entails uh, a conclusion of not acceptable. And definitely, for the second answer or the second uh, example we have computed, the time weighted average is again 16.61 log of 1.25. So, plus 90, so this is definitely more than 85. So, that's 91.61, uh, greater than 85, which gives a, a conclusion of not acceptable. Now, just a, a quick hint. Ano ba yung dose that will be acceptable for the time-weighted average? So, the dose that will be acceptable for the time-weighted average is equivalent to 0.5 okay so if you try solving what is a TWA for a noise dose of 0.5 so it will be equivalent to 85 so whenever you were asked just a quick question 
So, you already know the answer uh, that uh, a TWA of 85 needs a dose of 0.5. Alright? So, this ends our discussion for the noise dose and the time-weighted average. So, if you have more questions, comments, and suggestions again, so just uh, write it down in the comment section below and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.